Okay, this time a little tip about giving your image a little bit more pop or sharpness, or make it a little bit more contrasty or edgy. There's a lot of talk about these kind of techniques, and they all use different means to express what actually happens with the picture. Now, if you look at this picture and you look at the brick backdrop, there we go, <clears throat> you see that there's a lot of detail, but it's a little bit hidden, it's a little bit soft. The same goes for the dress, there's a lot of detail here, but it's a little bit soft. So let's say I really want to enhance this. Now, normally I would use a filter called Topaz Clarity, or in the past we used a lot of Nick Tonal Contrast. Don't overdo it, by the way, just a little bit to give it a little bit more edge. Now, let's say you don't want to use any plugins, or you're behind a computer and there's no plugin there, and somebody asks you about this technique. Can you show it? Well, it's very important to always know an alternative to the plugins. So I will show you the alternative now. The first thing you do is you create a duplicate layer. You can do it this way, just drag it to this icon here, and now you have a duplicate layer. Or of course you can go to layer and duplicate. Now you go into the filters, and you go into the other, and you go for high pass. Now I actually like settings between 8 and 9, so let's go for 8.7. Now if you want the effect to be subtle, you go to soft light. There we go, and you see before and after. If you want the effect a little bit more pronounced, you go to hard light and you see the before and after. I really like it on stuff like this, on the speakers. It really gives you way more pop. And of course I like it here in the dress. Now let's say you don't want it on the skin tones because, well, there it's a little bit ugly. Then you go into layer, layer mask, and in this case I will do a reveal all, meaning show everything. And now I can paint the effect away on the areas I don't want to see it on. And it shows you a white piece of canvas over here. Now on white pieces of canvas you can paint with black. And it will take the effect away. If you want to paint it in again, you just change back to white. And it will paint the effect in again. So there we go. And now the skin is actually normal again. Without the effect and everything else has that little nice pop effect. And of course you can use your opacity to change the effect. I often start with zero and then slowly build it up until I see what I like. There we go, before and after. So that's the tip for today to make your images a little bit more poppy.